Have you noticed that College Board has kicked up the difficulty on the math questions towards the end of Module 2? I have many students that come to us for digital SAT help that say that they run out of time and they have so much difficulty with these problems. Then you look at the crazy answer explanations from College Board and they look like this. I'm sorry, College Board, but I don't want to read a novel to figure out how to solve this thing. Well, what if I told you there's an amazing hack using Desmos to solve a lot of these really tricky problems? Not only will you mitigate Carol's mistakes and pick up the point, but you'll save lots of extra time to go back and check your work. And you can use Desmos way more than you think you can, even on some geometry problems. Before we get started with the problems, if you want to learn more Desmos hacks in depth, including types of problems you don't want to use Desmos on, I have a Desmos crash course coming up. Check our events page. I will link it up right here and sign up for that. Let's talk about problem one, because if you see a problem that's a system of equations and then you see answer choices with R's in them, basically this is a case where the system is probably infinite, meaning they're the same line when you graph both of them. And all you need to do is put the answer choices into Desmos to see which one runs along the entire line. So let me show you guys what I mean. As you can see, I already put both equations in here. If I remove the blue line, and see how the red line is right underneath? That's because they're the same exact line. And then we're gonna test A. So on the next line, I'm gonna put in R comma three minus three halves R. And since it's not an X or a Y, it's gonna ask you to add a slider. So go ahead and hit that. Then when you move the slider around, do you see how the dot goes straight up and down the entire line? That means answer choice A is the correct answer. Now, just so you can see what a wrong answer looks like, I'm gonna put in answer choice B. So we have R comma, three minus R over two. I'll add my slider again. Now check this out. See how the purple dot does not follow the line? So that's how you know the answer is incorrect. So easy peasy. If you see R's in the answers, go ahead and put it in Desmos.